What is up guys and welcome back to another raid show legends video with me the real deal so today we are going to be checking out dragon 25 i've got a really nice team comp to show you uh, as you can see we are doing it in one minute 12 if anyone out there can do it faster please drop a comment with your time and speed uh so time and team comp i'd love to know what you're running um and also i just want to do a quick shout out for my discord um so if you it's like just like a cool place to hang out and also you know if you need help anywhere in the game, like 3v3, dungeons, clan boss, there's loads of end game players like myself that can help you out. So please click on the description below to join my Discord. Let's uh, check out the team comp and then let's watch the run. So you've got Archmage Helmet in the lead, got Ghostborn, got a Cult Brawler, Seer and Renegade. So Archmage is great lead because he gives us um, speed aura, but he also is throwing out loads of buffs for Seer to eat with her A3. Uh, Ghostborn can be subbed out for other champions like Lydia or anyone that's really going to throw out like decreased defense. But um, he's one of the best because he can't, his uh, decreased defense can't be resisted and it doesn't have that 3% chance to fail. Um, and then Occult Brawler, he is going to solo the boss. He is an absolute beast at this. Uh, Renegade is just in there to uh, reset the cooldowns on the second wave so we can go really fast. And then Seer is going to be doing all our damage on the waves with her A3 that just smacks so hard. Okay, so here we go. So Ghostborn is going to throw out drop defense. Um, Archmage is going to throw out all those buffs. And Seer is just going to burn, karma burn, and just drop the team in under five seconds. And now we're just going to cycle back through our abilities. Renegade's going to do um, a reset. And then we're going to just do exactly the same thing again. And we're already on the boss in under 20 seconds. And now it's just a case of slowly chipping away on the boss. Um, Seer is still going to do loads of damage on the boss. Um, but a cult brawler, you know, he's going to be doing probably the most damage on the boss now. Um, it's all down to his poisons. So poisons do a huge amount of damage to the boss. Um, and he can pretty much just solo this, to be honest. Um, the way I've built him as well is that he will solo this. Uh, I think that a thing that's really nice as well is that if you just saw there... He can actually transfer all the poison buffs, buffs, buffs that the uh, dragon throws onto him back to the dragon as well. So that's going to help speed the run up a little bit as well. Uh, it doesn't matter if the rest of the team die. They've done their job. All they're there to do is just get you through the waves really quickly. And then a cult brawler just does all the work on the boss. And we're almost there now. But as you can see, he's sort of slowly chipping away now. And every time the boss sort of gets to the end of his turn, those poisons tick and it just drops his HP like nobody's business. So here we go. And we've managed to do it in 1 minute 22 seconds. Um, so as you can see, Seer has done 3.3 million damage. And that's mostly just on the waves. And then a cult brawler has done the rest of the work on the dragon doing 3.2 mil as well. Absolutely insane. So we've seen the run. Let's check out the gear and masteries. So we are going to start from uh, fastest to slowest. So first up, we've got uh, Ghostborn. So he's in an immunity set and perception. He has that muni um, immunity set on for an extra debuff for Seer to strip. So we do a bit more damage. And then we've got perception on just to make sure that we land those debuffs. So uh, gloves, we've got crit damage with speed and accuracy substats. Then we've got uh, accuracy on the chest, speed on the boots, attack on the ring crit damage on the necklace and then attack on the banner total stats we've got 45k hp 2.9k attack 241 speed 98 on the crit rate would love it to be 100 but you can't always hit that um, and then we've got 204 crit damage i'd love that to be higher so it does more damage on the waves and on the boss and then the most important substat on him is uh, accuracy at 289 uh, you need it to be sort of around 250 for it to, to make sure that his uh, buffs or debuffs, sorry, land. Uh, masteries, I've not fully mastered him. He doesn't really need full masteries. I mean, you could go down to War Master and that would help increase damage, but sometimes you need to save where you can. Next up, we've got Archmage, who's in Perception and Speed. Um, gloves, we've got Crit Damage. Got Attack on the Chest. Speed on the Boots. Uh, HP on the ring, HP on the necklace, and then accuracy on the banner. 
I could probably actually sub start uh, sub out the ring for attack and the um, amulet for crit damage, do more damage, speed it things up a little bit. But uh, total stats, we've got 42k HP, uh, 208k um, attack, 238 speed, 103 crit damage, uh, crit rate, and 206 crit damage, and then 349 accuracy. A little bit of overkill on the accuracy is because I used to use him in Doom Tower, um, and I haven't fully rolled up his gear or optimized it. As I was saying, you should have attack on the ring, really, and attack uh, crit damage on the amulet. Uh, masteries. Very, very standard stuff, uh, support tree, and then um, on the offense side, just crit rate, crit damage, life drinker to help keep him alive, um, heart of glory to do more damage, and singled out to do more damage on the boss. Basically, it's just all damage on the left-hand side, and again, into war masters, so we do as much damage as possible. Then next up, I think we've got Seer, if I can find her. So she's in Savage and Perception. She's got ridiculously good stats, um, but we'll talk about that in a sec. So she's got crit damage on the gloves, crit rate, crit speed, substats, um, accuracy on the chest, uh, speed on the boots, uh, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then accuracy on the banner. Uh, HP, 43k. Uh, 2.9k attack, uh, 217 speed, 102 crit rate, 278 crit damage, and then 389 accuracy. Uh, I've definitely gone overkill with accuracy, but that's because I use her in Doom Tower to clear every single wave. So that's why her stats are so high. But I reckon you can probably get away with about 260 crit damage. Um, but she does need she does need a lot of stats to make her work to um, her best. So mastery is really important in her. Um, so I've gone down support, just accuracy, more accuracy, and then cycle of magic just to try and get her to reset, uh, sort of you know reduce the cooldown on her A three. Uh, none of the other um, masteries really benefit her in this row, so that's why I've not like. Uh, you know, saved a bit of energy there by not wasting it, trying to get masteries that aren't really going to benefit her. Um, and then she's got a very unique build on the off uh, on the off sense tree. So you want crit rate, crit damage. Shield break is not really going to benefit her too much, but it's more about so we can go into ruthless ambush, so we do more damage on the first hit. Uh, I know some people that take a uh, world of death. I don't like taking it on her because. If she becomes too fast, it can whack everything out of sync and just mess up your run. Then we got Cycle of Violence, which also has a chance of uh, reducing the cooldown on our Karma Burn. Um, and then, yeah, just damage on the left-hand side. And then basically every time we get kills with kill streak, we are going to increase our damage. And then to help us get more crit damage, we want to take Flawless Execution because basically her A3 works that... Um, she does damage based on enemy max HP, so crit damage is the most beneficial stat on her to increase that damage. Oh, and mastery I've taken, not uh, blessing I've taken is crushing rend. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any more stars, so I could get that extra cheeky twenty crit damage on her. But you know, maybe for a future video. Um, a cult brawler. So let's just quickly try. Oh yeah, so he's I think my almost my only champion that's fully ascended. Um, six star that is not necessary that is not gonna make him do more damage um but yeah as you can see um he is in a lifesteal set so this is a very rare case that you can actually use lifesteal for end game content so he's got um crit rate on the gloves just to do more damage to the boss and um, we've got hp on the chest this is really important because he does need some hp to give him survivability to survive hits from the boss then we've got speed on the boots um, HP on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then accuracy on the banner because we need to land those debuffs. Total stats, we are rocking 58k HP, uh, 2.6k attack, 213 speed, 105 crit rate, 203 crit damage, and then 250 accuracy. And I said, so um, yeah, so he's one of the only champions I've got where I've got him 
fully ascended um, and I've chosen a crushing rend on him just so he does more damage to the boss. But to be honest, I don't think it's going to increase the damage too much to the boss. The poisons are where the real damage is coming from. And then masteries, very sort of standard clan boss build that I've got on him. So accuracy, um, cycle of magic, um, Laura Steel just to help with stats. Master Hexer to increase the duration of our poisons and Sniper to help increase the chance of landing poisons. And then uh, once again, all about how in the left, uh, left hand side all the way down to War Master so we do more damage to the boss. And then last but not least, we've got Renegade. Where is she? There she is. Um, so my Renegade has ridiculous stats. Um, I put like loads of damage on her because you don't want her to have too much survivability because then she won't die so quickly on the boss. Um, but I've got her in crit damage gloves, um, attack chest, um, attack boots because we want her to be nice and slow. And that's really important. We'll talk about that in a sec. Um, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then attack on the banner. So... Total substats are 39k HP, um, 4k attack, 181 speed. So we want her to be really slow. 180 to 190 is where you want her. Uh, 104 crit rate, 249 crit damage, and then no other stats really benefit for her. Um, but yeah, I definitely went overkill with uh, the crit damage and attack. Um, it's something that I was testing out and I thought, um, because you'd basically... Usually with champions in a shield set, you want them to have loads of HP so they get a massive shield. Um, but in this case, I wanted to do more damage on the boss. So that's why I put so much damage into her. Um, and you want a shield set to make this work because it's another buff for Seer to eat. So that's another four buffs for her to eat, which is definitely going to increase her damage massively. Um, skills, we can skip, but masteries. Yeah, so, so for skills, literally it's all about um her a3 doing this reset um the reason i've not fully booked her is because i used to use her in an, uh, an unkillable team comp so that's the reason why she's not fully booked but you can fully book her it won't matter for this and then masteries just very very standard stuff once again it's just all about damage on that offense tree and defense i've just went down to terence just in case um this was i was using it for something else but yeah, it's all, to be honest though, defense or off support, it doesn't really matter for her. It's all about offense for her. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope this will help speed up your dragon runs. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.